I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years. But no one stumped me more than the princess. I like to have a different outfit for almost every day of the year. I don't really like to have to buy it myself. I love this. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next six weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. 92% of everything you make is going to pure self-indulgence. It's just out of control. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. I don't think she'd be able to do it. I like the sparkly. This one's great. I love Oh, I this. love that. Oh, I definitely love this one. No changes. <laughs> No money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Laura. My name is Laura, and I'm 18 years old. I work at a spa. I'm a receptionist. I make about $2,000 a month. And she spends every penny on herself. The Laura in a store is like a kid in a candy shop. She wants everything. I just I have to go shopping all the time. Whoever gave her a credit card has got to be the biggest idiot in the entire world because they're never going to get any of that money back. I would definitely say shopping is like a drug for me. It's her uh, cocaine. I really like going tanning. I love to get my nails done. I also like to buy hair extensions. I think she always loves to look good. She loves wearing heels. She loves going to places and just looking like the best person there. Probably cost me about $200 for transportation, for cover, drinks. Laura hopes to make it as a model. All she needs is an agent, a portfolio. Oh, hi. And yes. that one big break. She's kind of getting off on the wrong foot right now. Laura wants to go to college next year, but she has no money to pay for it. Her only fixed expense is her cell phone bill. All right, I'll see you then. But in the four months since leaving high school, she saved nothing. In fact, she's actually racking up debt while spending other people's money. Can you get it? And that's the last time. Laura's mom has no idea how deep in debt Laura really is. How much do you think you've spent this week? Oh, I'll have to check. Laura's friends think her priorities are totally out of whack. It just annoys me because she's very selfish. And her boyfriend is questioning their future together. I had been a couple times fed up with Laura where I'm like, you know what, that's it. So you want me to put that on my credit card? And then she uses the puppy dog face, oh, baby. Please, baby. And then I'm always suckered in. You guys wouldn't take it. To scare her straight, Laura's family and friends have agreed to cut her off. And they've called me in to help. I meet with Laura to show her that her financial mismanagement is affecting everyone around her. Paint me a picture of what your life looks like in five years. Uh, hopefully I've graduated from college, have a steady job, uh, steady income, not have to worry about debt. What are you doing right now to make the dream a reality? Nothing. Let's see what some of your friends and family have to say. I'm totally fed up with Laura's behavior. She just doesn't listen. She'll just get mad at me and start whining about how I'm just jealous. Yeah, shopping is an addiction for Laura. You actually treat shopping almost like a drug. What did your last set of extensions cost you? 1500 <laughs> Where did you get that kind of money to waste? I increased my credit limit. Pardon? That's how I got the money for the extensions. <laughs> you took it to what? 5000 So how do you ever expect to get that paid off? I have no idea. <laughs> OK, now let's hear from Nitin. The best way Laura gets what she wants, she whines a lot. She's always complaining. It's very hard for me to say no to her. If I do get really strict about it, she'll get angry sometimes. Ooh, so emotional blackmail. You're saying, I won't love you if you won't give me what I want. That sounds really bad if you put it like that. You're the princess, and your subjects should all just do your bidding. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what your mom has to say about all of this. OK. You know, we're at this crossroads in her life right now. She's 18. She's just beginning her adult life. I'm still covering the cost of room, board and lodging, food, some clothes, car insurance, life insurance, dental. I do feel used and manipulated. You know, I can't be just bailing her out all the time. It makes me angry, quite frankly. Sorry. Where do you see this going if you keep this up? Nowhere. Is this hard? What's hard about it? Just seeing how everybody really feels. I got pretty emotional. It was a real eye-opener for me. I guess reality just really set in then. Do you want 
to change. I want to have control over my own life. Okay. For sure. Laura's not the only one in for a reality check. I'm going to reveal the truth about Laura's financial situation, so I invited her mother, Sue, here to join us. When you sent me your paperwork, your debt total was $1,200. That's where you were at. But I have come to find out that you are, in fact, careening towards debt. Do you know that she got an increase on her credit limit? Really? Yes. Her total debt balance right now is $5,000. How could you do that? I don't know. I was really shocked that she's managed to rack up such debt in such a small amount of time. It's very concerning to me. So let's look at where your money is going. You're only spending $100 a month on debt repayment and $49 a month on your needs. You're spending nothing on savings. 92% of everything you make is going to pure self-indulgence. So while your mother's busting her butt to keep a roof over everybody's head, you think it's okay to go and blow almost $2,000 a month on crap. And if that weren't bad enough, mom, you're paying even more of her expenses every month. Everything from your hair, to eating out, to clothes, groceries, insurance so you can drive. And all of this adds up to almost $1,000 a month. And you don't pay a penny in rent. What do you say? I haven't been doing what I should be doing as a parent to help my daughter learn how to handle money and take responsibility for herself. One of the biggest mistakes parents make is this whole, you don't have to pay rent thing. It's a bunch of nonsense. Mm -hmm. If you were paying your own way and using credit to fill the gap, you'd be going into debt to the tune of $2,900 every month. You make about $22,000 a year gross. You would have to make $33,000 a year to spend what you're currently spending. You'd have to make $57,000 a year, two and a half times what you're making now, to also keep a roof over your head and food in your own stomach. That's scary. Mm -hmm. Did the numbers freak you out? It's just out of control. I, I guess it just didn't occur to me that she would be spending so wildly like that, just, yeah. you know, irresponsibly. You have been indulged for quite some time, and your sense of entitlement has left you wanting things you can't afford to buy yet. I need you to commit mm -hmm. to not handing out to her anymore. Are you prepared to do that? Absolutely. I'm okay. prepared to do all kinds of things right now. Do you have a credit card here? Yes. Do you have a debit card? Yes. I want your plastic. You're done with it. Okay. <laughs> You're going to learn to stand on your own two feet. You're also going to learn to have the things that you want, but that you have to be able to pay for them, and you're going on a cash debt. So, no bitching, no whining. If you do all the challenges that I give you, I'll give you up to $5,000 towards your goals. Okay. Things definitely need to be changing. Coming up, Laura moves out. How do you like it? So cute. And gets a taste of financial reality. Is the steak burning? Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. 18 year old Laura has big dreams for her future. I would like to not have any more credit card debt, start my modeling career, start saving for college as well. But she's created a big financial mess. Your total is going to be $214.75. That's standing in her way. So her total debt balance right now is $5,000. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm still covering the cost of her room, board, and lodging, food. Her mother's at a loss. You can't just spend money and not know what she's spent. If she succeeds at all of my challenges, she stands to gain $5,000. And that money would go a long way. To help her on her way, I'm meeting her at this condo to assign her first challenge. You're moving into this apartment for the next two weeks. <laughs> By myself? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. If Laura had to find her own place, she'd quickly realize that independence comes at a price. Most landlords require first and last month's rent. There are security deposits for utilities such as heat and electricity and services like telephone and cable. There may not be a parking spot included in the rent or laundry on site. Laura calculated that she'd need close to $2,000 to cover the cost of her first place. And since she's living on a cash diet, there's going to be less clubbing and more couch surfing. When it comes to meals, Laura quickly realized that to make her budget work, she was actually going to have to cook. So your total is 48 dollars 
She's always said she's gonna make me dinner. I've never seen it yet. Oh my god. I don't know how to use this. You want me to open it for you? I'm supposed to be cooking. Do I need to put anything in this? Laura's going to be lucky if she can keep Natina around for the first course. Do you know what you're doing? I think this is done. I don't know if I want the soup anymore. Is the steak burning? Ah! Uh, how did it burn in like two minutes? Hey, want any soup? I'm pretty sure cream of is supposed to be white. In the end, it may not have been the perfect romantic meal. The salad's good. But Laura managed to put it together and serve them both for only $9. Living on my own and having to come up with a budget to keep the place clean or buying my own groceries, getting around by myself. It was like a reality check for me, definitely. So would you choose to have your own place like this? I definitely would. Do you know that this place would cost your entire month's Salary? Oh, no. As part of this process, I told Laura to create a balanced budget. She's going to prepare for independence by paying her mum rent. By the time she can afford to move out, she'll be used to including items like housing expenses in her monthly budget. What was the big lesson? Realizing how much everything costs and knowing that I can't spend how I'm spending anymore. With $5,000 in credit card debt, Laura was worried about managing her bills while she's in college. I told her to make a debt repayment plan to get it paid off in 12 months. When I first got my credit card, yeah, I thought it was just free money, basically, that they would just loan you the money and then you could just pay it off whenever you could. Um, I had no idea that there were interest rates. So it is your plan to spend $666.66 a month to repay your debt? That's initially what it's going to cost. How long will it take to pay off your debt doing that? One year. Your interest rate on this credit card is 4.99%? Yeah, I um, actually called the bank and they lowered it for me. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> okay, what made you do that? When I looked at all the um, information and the debt repayment, I found out that it would be so much more yeah. with a 19% interest rate. Now that I've got Laura planning ahead, it's time to think about the future. Laura dreams of working in the fashion industry as a model. Modeling is really important to me. It's kind of like a, been a life dream for me. I know you want to have a modeling career. Mm -hmm. And you've had some shots done, but mm -hmm. not much more, right? So when you take a dream and turn it into a goal, it's good to have a process. So first of all, why do you want to be a model? It's what I love to do. I love being in front of the camera. What are some of the things you would have to do to achieve that? You have to have a really good portfolio. Okay. What does it cost to build a portfolio? Don't you don't know. So one of the steps you would have to take is to cost a portfolio. And when would you like to be signed by? I really want to do that in about five months. Where is modeling in your priorities? Would you say modeling is your A priority, a B priority, or a C priority? Going to college is really important for me. If the modeling career doesn't work out, I definitely do have a backup plan. Coming up, Laura goes from one reality check to another. Your new model, you have to start at the bottom. So how realistic do you think my chances are? Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. At 18 years old, Princess Laura's life is just beginning. She's an aspiring model. Excellent. But spends Monday to Friday working at a low-paying job. Hey, can I get your name? And she's racked up huge credit card debt. For those four pieces, it's $9.71 and at 24 cents. But I'm putting a stop to that. Where do you see this going if you keep this up? Nowhere. Now her friends and family have agreed to cut her off financially. Do you have a debit card? Yes. I want your plastic. I've taken away her credit card, and I'm whipping her into shape. I've asked her to get serious about setting long-term goals, starting with her ambition to be a fashion model. As long as uh, it's not something outrageous, then I will support her dreams. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Dawn. I have been with Sutherland Models for about eight years now. I take care of all of the training and the new faces. Can I see you walk? Yep. Yeah. It's hard to earn a full-time living as a model. While modeling jobs can pay well, they're sporadic. And globally, 90% of the income earned by models goes to the top 10 international stars. 
But when you look at Laura, she's more sexy. You know, she's a pretty girl. High fashion models, when you look at them, you don't think, that's a pretty girl. You think, she's different. You're a new model, you have to start at the bottom and work your way up. So it's yeah. a lot of time, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of money. How tall are you? I'm 5'8". You're, You're more suited towards commercial modeling. You need a smiley, cute, fun headshot. Okay. That's what sells. Okay. Professional photographers can charge thousands of dollars for a portfolio. To get some new shots taken without spending a lot of money, Dawn suggests that Laura connect with other aspiring fashion industry professionals. She can get a makeup artist, a hairstylist, and a great photographer, and all she's gonna have to pay for is print. So this portfolio right now isn't strong enough for us. Um, so we would say, here you go, good luck. When she told me my photos weren't strong enough, that was kind of disappointing. But um, if that's what they're looking for, that's what I'm gonna have to get. Before I move on to Laura's next challenge, I'd like to check in on her progress. Were you a little disappointed when she said that there were some areas that you probably wouldn't make it in in terms of modeling? Um, I was, because yeah. I wanted to kind of do all aspects of the modeling. So are you going to keep pursuing this? Oh, yeah, for okay. sure, definitely. Laura was spending half her salary on clothes every month. I challenged Laura to work with savvy fashion stylist Afia to get more for less with a budget of only $125. I think girls tend to gravitate towards designer items because if you're insecure about the way you dress or your taste level, that's a way to maybe ensure confidence. If a designer's done it, then it must be nice. Unfortunately, that's not always true. Okay, this is designer head to toe. Beautiful leather jacket, the sparkly sequins, fitted jeans, of course, the booties and topped off with the designer purse. In total, this look is about $2,500. You can find an outfit that looks very similar within your budget. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to wear clothes that are not designer, um, not spend so much money on just personal appearance. I noticed already that you're wearing very similar booties to what I've pulled, and your purse is quite similar. I think that we should update your wardrobe so that you're reintroducing pieces that you already own. Okay, that's yeah, a really that good idea. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And now for a skill set that comes naturally to Laura, shopping. I like the sparkly. I like yeah. these ones. This I like that. I do like that. Oh, I definitely love this one. Let's see. Oh, like fantastic. It. You like it? I love it. If you're shopping inexpensively, you still want to make sure that the garment's well constructed. And what that means is that the stitching is well seamed, so there's no pulling or tears within the garment. The designer outfit costs $2,500. I only spent $121. I was really, really excited when I found out that I was under budget, and I actually kind of like my outfit better. Coming up, you know, I have a whole stack of checks here, right? Ooh. Here's your check. She's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Six weeks ago, Laura was an 18-year-old princess in total denial. Okay, so your total is 1,423.80, please. Her over-the-top spending was beginning to affect her relationships with family and friends. You need to start learning responsibility. She had no idea how to pay off her debt. Where do you see this going if you keep this up? Nowhere. And no direction for her future. So I cut up her credit card. I want your plastic. And taught her how to live on her own, balance her books, and shop within a budget. Have yourself a great day. You Bye. Before I reveal my final decision, I wanted to check in with her mother and BFF, Avonlea. So have you noticed a change in her? Yeah, a really? huge change. In what way? She actually looks at stuff and looks at prices. So Laura's taking control of her life. She's doing a lot better. Yeah. yeah. So do you find she's a little bit more appreciative of what you have she's done for her? She's more appreciative and she's less combative. Isn't this amazing what you can accomplish in just a short period of time right. with a little bit of focused effort? Focusing, that's exactly yeah. what it is. Focusing yeah. on what you need to accomplish. She went off on God, her interest rate lowered on her mm -hmm. credit card. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> you did this wonderful, you that's know? That's right. It was really, really so smart. So that shows do. she has initiative. Right. And that she can follow through. Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep taking rent as long as she's oh, working? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's paying rent now. Good. Yeah, yes. As long as you have expectations, she has something to rise to. And have you learned anything through this whole process? I want to be on the show. <laughs> I'm very proud of Laura. She's maturing and really leading her life in a direction that I'm really proud of. Laura! Hey there. <laughs> How are you? So, what'd you learn? Um, I learned that you can have a budget and still get everything you need. When you got to me, you were being indulged. 
and you had a sense that you were entitled to stuff that you really couldn't yet afford mm -hmm. and you were focusing on the outside appearance as opposed to what's at the core of Laura and the fact that Laura wants to do wonderful things with her life and she needs to set some goals to get there. But you're doing all that now, right? Mm -hmm. Good. You moved into that apartment, you cooked, you cleaned, you left the place clean. Couldn't ask for more than that. You also made a budget and a debt repayment plan. If you stay on this path, in one year you'll be debt free and you'll have saved money for your education, which is fantastic. You did the less is more challenge in a way that showed you that it's better to build on an outfit mm -hmm. than to try and have an outfit for every single thing. That was good to know, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> okay, so your short-term goal, you're still working on that. You'd still like to do a little bit of modeling, right? Have you yeah. come any closer to a gig? Um, I actually had a photo shoot this Monday. That's great. And you're working towards your long-term goal of going back to school? Mm -hmm. I have a whole stack of checks here, right? Ooh. Here's your check. Oh my God. <laughs> here you go. You Yay. earned it, $5,000. I want you to make sure you keep pulling your own weight. Being independent is what will define you as a woman, okay? Yeah. Focus on school, because school is how you will end up making the money you need to have all those things that you want. Because you are committed to going back to school and because that is so important, we're gonna help you with your tuition. Really? So that you can get to that goal a little bit faster. Thank you, Gail. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've learned a lot through everything that's happened. I think I'm really just starting to build more self-confidence knowing that I don't have to hide behind labels and I can have a budget as well as still getting clothes and paying off school. I really want to thank her for that. I can tell, I can tell she loves to go shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. She's kind of close to hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning, head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.